Um, you're in the car with your family, a wasp or a bee gets in the car, everyone in the car or everybody is losing their rabid mind. Why? Because you're afraid that this wasp, somebody's going to get stung. This little bitty, bitty wasp creates that much chaos and the father who's driving grabs the wasp in his hand and then lets the wasp go. Again, everyone in the car, oh, why'd you let the wasp go? Why'd you let the wasp And the father turns and says, he's got no more sting. This wasp has been rendered ineffective. At best, the wasp can only aggravate you, but it can't kill you. That little pompous antichrist horn, that little pompous speaking blasphemous little wasp, well, he's got no more sting. Death, where is your sting? Because here's the reality. Not only is the ancient of days sitting on the throne and his court is in session, he says, one like the son of man literally is brought back to the right hand of the father. And what Christ does on the cross literally eradicates the sting of death, eradicates the words of the pompous little antichrist. And guess what's going to happen? In the end, all Jesus has to do is return like on a cloud and say these words, I am, and that's it. Death, where is your sting? Revelations 19, verses 19 says it this way, two simple words, game over. Say what you want, keep speaking as loud as you want, antichrist, you can, you can persuade people to follow you all you want, but the reality is, when the son is seated at the right hand of the father and he comes back on a cloud it is game over the wasp can do nothing but just buzz in your ear and agitate you so don't let satan get you afraid let him yeah he'll agitate all he wants but he can't defeat you because victories is ours in jesus